In this episode of Coach's Eye, we are looking at the, I don't even know how to introduce this in terms of what we're going to get out of this, because... The need for speed. The need for speed <laughs> of another surfer that you have also coached, and that is none other than Travis Logie. So we're going to jump into the iPad in just a moment, but I just want to tell you about our amazing app that we now have. It is available in the App Store. It is free to come over and join, uh, to, to download the app and join the community. In the community, you're going to get access to loads of extra content, There's some, some extra stuff that you don't get here on YouTube. Uh, you're also going to get access to this amazing community. Now, this is people around the world that are coming in, they're joining the app. There's the option for you to meet up with other people that are following the Ombi method, go out surfing with them. And what we're doing is we're using this app to encourage you to help us build a community of people that can go out there and help help each other get better in the surf. Can I throw five cents on you there? You can, throw more than so, that. In. So basically there's, there's a huge knowledge gap in surfing. So we give knowledge for free. It's like, yeah, have it. Like the reason being is the mind learns really quick, the body learns slow. So with all that free knowledge that we give, on the app, the only thing we charge for is the training, like how do we get to then do it? Yeah. So if you want to consume as much knowledge and learn as much as you can, it's on there for free. So download the app, it's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And, and as Clayton just said, if you want to, to look at joining one of the paid programs, you can also access all of the paid programs there as well. And also while you're here, if you haven't hit that subscription button yet, then hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the notification bell so that you get notified about the coach's eye as soon as they come out. And they normally come out on uh, Monday, and that is an Australian Monday, which is the same Monday as any other Monday in the world. It's just a slightly different time because we're in Australia. Anyway, let's not waste any, waste any more time talking a load of gobbledygook. I nearly swore. <laughs> that was close. Anyway, let's get into, yeah. let's get into Travis Logie. So, I had the privilege of training Travis, but I was almost learning from him. Like, you kind of learn as you go. So, as yep. much as he was getting coaching from me, I was learning from him. So one of the things that said really stuck with him, and he had a mentor from earlier on, his name was Greg Swart. Greg said, wherever you look, you'll go, or your board will go. Yep. So what I like about Travis is his ability to fine tune and pinpoint the turns with such speed and accuracy. So that's watch. Let me bring the iPad. Okay. Watch us, and then we'll jump into it. So boom, <laughs> bang. Do you know what this wave is? Oh, I don't care, because the wave is just skirting. <laughs> oh, it's, look, look at this. Oh, it's in slow-mo because it's that good. That's Did you e even... That's not even us putting it in slow-mo. It was wow, that good, you have to just wow, wow, put wow. the video up, put it in slow-mo. I'm sorry, I'm, you, you, you talk. I can't go past this. <laughs> okay, so, look at that bottom turn. Um, now, what I'm seeing is, look at how Travis opens up his body. So, so when you say opens up his body, can we just freeze it and can you draw some lines? Just to, 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 to just make it paint, it, paint it red, paint it obvious. When you say opens up his body, what do you actually mean? Well, okay, look at the, look at the angle of his board. His board's there, right? Yep. And his backside. Yep. He looks like a frontside surfer. Mm-hmm. Like, if you just... Seriously, if, if you, if I did this, I don't know if it'll work, but if I just did this, okay, front or backside surfer, what would you say? Oh, hang on, I'm, I'm using my hand to cover, which isn't going to help you guys, but, yeah, I, 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 would, I, I would be studying it for a long time to try and figure it out. I, I can't tell straight away, like, oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, so, basically, He's surfing backside, but he's twisted around so much that he looks frontside. So yeah. he's not at a disadvantage. He's opening up his hips so much. Now think about if you're going to hit a tennis ball, how much would you open up and return swing? Mm. So the, the amount of power that he has, the, the potential to unleash on that turn is absolutely amazing. Now... 
when he goes to hit it, look at how he constricts himself. The key is going vertical there. Look at that. It's like 12 o'clock. Yeah. Ding, ding. But now he's upside down. Where's he looking? So, so, so from looking, this is what absolutely blows my mind away. I'm going to just draw a straight line here. All right. Now, bear in mind, he's, he's twisted from backside to front side. Yep. He goes vertical, right? Beyond vert on the board, and then straight back down over there, beyond vert over there. Well, it's, it's almost going back down at like four, four five o'clock. Okay. If, if you think about that as a clock face. Yeah, now do you know why it's important to go slightly past vertical down? May I answer this so that I can show that after the years of sitting with you, I actually knew, I actually do know some of the things I should know. Some of you are screaming out, going, and surely you must know this by now. It's because if he went straight down, the chance I hit nosedive, the board will Correct. fit easier going in at an angle. It's a bit like when you take off, going yes. at a slight angle. There we go. I just proved a little bit of knowledge for today. But I want to show you something. So look where the turn starts out. It starts out over here, board facing board facing that way, Yep. and finishes over there. Wow, it's almost 180, 180 degrees. Well, no, it's more. No, no, but um, like the opposite is what, I meant, is, is what I meant. I don't even know how to draw this, I'm just confused. It's almost like a mirror image. Yeah. That's, that's the better one to use, not 180 degrees. It's amazing. So, okay, right now he's eyeballing the foam. No. Right, I, think then, the, I think the phone's eyeballing him, to be honest, it's in his eyes. He turns around, he looks where he wants to go. That's key. Yep. Okay. Now watch the backhand. So see how you can see palm up? Yeah, so we could high five him from the beach. Yeah. Now think again of aeroplane wings. Yep. So basically the angle of the arm is kind of like the angle of the board over there. Mm -hmm. So he's got that angle. Now let's see how does he tee up this next section. So he's eyeballing something. He's keeping his eye on it, keeping his eye on it. He's opened up even further. What a freak. His arm is at like three o'clock. Look, look at that front arm, how, oh, oh. That is beyond vert. Well, look at this. It's, it's slightly past the 12, isn't it? Now, look at how he's twisted out of that turn. Oh, he's upside down. And there, there is not nose diving. Let that drop, is he gonna put it down? That absolutely blows my mind. Look how upside down he's in the turn. Releases the tail, frees fall, free falls out of that. Okay, so. Ooh, I'm, I'm actually. I just got excited finished. about that, but I forgot what I was doing. Um, we're here <laughs> to basically take a pro surfing good habit yep. and overlay it on potentially what we have as a bad habit. Yeah. I know sometimes on my backhand, my backhand trails. It stops me from seeing the lip. Mm -hmm. Whereas Travis, he just gets the front arm out of the way and that, like, he gets so front on, on those backside turns. Yep. It's like he's, there's no ways his backhand is a disadvantage. So, so th this bit here is what you mean by getting the arm out of the way? Yeah, he looks front on. He looks like a natural footer. He does not look goofy footer. Yeah. And then he just unleashes this upside down roundhouse kick. Where's he looking there? Look how upside down he is. I feel like I want one of those, the old school Batman, where they used to go kapow up on the screen. I feel like I want one of those to appear there right now. Um, so look at the torque that he gets inside yeah. of his body, that compression, the twisting. Um, See what else comes up. The, the fine tuning. Oh, we could probably go slow, mate, because I'm just going to be spewing. And... Ugh. I think, okay, so, so this is what really fascinates me now as, as an intermediate surfer watching this, seeing what you have now pointed out, it doesn't instantly, I don't instantly watch it and just go, oh, look at how he's getting his arm out there. I just go, look, look at that turn. It's not until you break it down and, and pick up these little nuances that he's doing that all of a sudden I just go, okay, that's how mechanically it works. Okay, so, <sighs> I'm freaking. Right, so I say pass the coffee. So imagine in your back arm, this arm over here, you got a cup of coffee, yep. and you want to pass it to the lip, okay? So watch this. There's the coffee cup pass. Right, can I, can I just say something now as well? And so we've had a lot of conversations over the last couple of weeks about freeze, flight, or fight. 
I know that if I was in this position here, the chances are I would have gone, whoa, that's way too steep. I'm going to race down the line a little bit and turn where it's a bit... Comfortable. A bit more comfortable. Okay. <laughs> where I won't get smacked in the face so by a lip. Let's look at his potential then. So basically, you've got something coming at you. You're going to have to jump. And you're almost going to have to... I, I doubt you'll be able to jump on top. You're almost going to have to jump and glide across that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what unfolds. Uh, let's clear this. Look at the handlebars. Look how the hands match the angle of the wave. Side on. Look at that thing. And even on the landing, look how like the, the arms are level. Kind yeah. Of pointing where so so much control. It wasn't winding down windscreens. Yeah. Like the hands do so little. Let's go back again a little bit because I know that we're talking. I'm kind of going on off on a tangent here. No, put it this way. Okay. Oh, stop it right there. If he was riding a bicycle, there's the handlebars. You'd want to go on top of that bicycle, I mean, on top of the wave, yep. and then ride off. And his mm. hands do those exact movements. So every movement's just kind of like on point. Yeah. So if, if your arms lead the body, basically Travis gets out of his own way. He does these like super twists so that he can see where he wants to go. And that's giving him more speed and more power. Yeah. It's like his superpower. It's absolutely mind-boggling oh come on <laughs> stop it Travis oh I, I could look, look at the energy in his body watch us just hold wow, the, turn. Look wow. the speed on that yeah I froth on a day he's yeah, that, that hand just getting out of the way all the time on his backhand surfing, that hand out of the way. Yep. Even having that back arm up and the shoulder like activated and lighter rather than having the arm down. So I know it's not a Nathan Ewing, but there's a similar sort of a trait there. Yeah. He's even got that little knee tuck happening. Yep. Kind of like a bit more of an Ethan, an Ethan Ewing. Mm. So you do see that a lot of these pros have very, very similar traits. Yeah. So, Ant, what's the one thing okay. that you... Cool. Want to copy and paste with Travis? I suppose for me, it would be being really aware of when I'm surf surfing on my, on my backhand. So I'm I'm natural foot as opposed to goofy, but really getting this one this one out of the way. Yep. So that I can then look up higher because I, I know that on my backside surfing I'm very so. Sort of, I agree with you 100. percent Now I want to bring your mind to one more thing. Okay, just think about any part of Travis's waves. How much compression and energy was there stored? In other words, how much potential, yeah, yeah, look, potential. was in Travis's legs the entire wave? Yeah, a lot. So the legs were just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's just like a, a dog after a ball. It's like, go, 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 go. Just, mm. just, it was in crazy. So he's looking. And then he's just firing away I think, non-stop. I, I think what's what's really important to just point out there, saying his his legs are ready to go, that doesn't mean that he was tense. It means that no. he was he was in a in a in a you know in a position of being ready. It's kinda of like a cobra just ready to coil, ready to strike. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely amazing. So what has been your biggest takeaway from this video? You can leave that in the comments below. Also remember, head over to the App Store, download the Ombi app, come and join the community. As I say, it is completely free. There is information that, about all of our free stuff. There's also information about our paid programs as well. But head over to the app, download, download the app, join the community, come and make friends with us over there and you'll get access to a whole bunch more content. We'll see you in the next Coach's Eye. Uh, I know that the next one, because I already know who we're doing next, the next one is going to be super fun.